I'm about to go into an open sea with a kayak with little to none ability to swim. My mind already tries to convince me to not go there. The first thought being, what if you drown? But I'm not gonna be a coward in front of my girl, especially not in front of my girl. So we push the kayak into the sea and we hop on it. We hop on it and just 10 meters away I reveal my secret. But there is no turning back now, bro. Like, I'm not gonna be a pussy and say, oh, babe, let's go back, let's go back, I don't want to drown. We continued forward and another 20 meters away. The kayak out of a sudden gets hit by a wave. The wave makes it shake and I just slowly begin to feel this goosebump like something crawling upon my back like a giant poisonous dark spider. And they just look down and they see an endless dark blue abyss. The feeling gets even worse and thanks to it the kayak starts shaking even more my courage my willpower slowly diminishes to complete zero and the kayak starts shaking even more and more but all of a sudden i feel something strange and familiar from far deep within my brain i try so hard to remember what this thing is and out of a sudden i feel goosebumps all over my body as something just screams to every cell of my body courage is calling and be a fucking man out of a sudden, I come back to my calm self again. The kayak stops shaking all completely and we continue forward. Just 20 minutes later, I already learned the kayak completely. We were there flying across the sea and I had only one thought in mind. Let's go even faster. And as the trip was slowly going to a roundup, we slowly approach the shore. And before we land, I just casually say to my girl, let's go for a swim. A guy bro that previously had no idea how to swim. My name is Christian and my vision, my purpose is to help out young men choose the right path for them. In this video I'm going to teach you everything I know about courage. For this video specifically I have read an entire book about courage named Courage is Calling by Ryan Holiday. This book was an amazing guide to unlock the hidden potential of courage. I had an amazing time just reading through this book and I can bet for a fact that you will have an amazing time listening to this video as well. But in order for this video to be impactful and actually life-changing for you, I will need your full attention. So whatever you're doing right now, either finish it or leave it for later and give this video your full attention. Section one, what exactly is courage? Courage, some people may call it bravery. And all of us have some kind of imaginary picture of what it is. Before I started researching, I had this vague imagination inside my head of what courage actually is. And I had this imagination of some weird, big, muscular guy with a spear in his hand going into battle. A picture that many people have nowadays. But I was proven wrong, you see? Courage exactly isn't a famous way to go off this earth. Courage isn't some way to die. Courage isn't something only for the chosen ones and it certainly isn't genetically inherited. Courage is a skill, a skill for everyone, including you. Section 1.1 Is courage only experienced on a battlefield? No, it exists in many forms. The most famous one being the battle or known as physical courage. The second one being the strength to speak up or mind courage. The third one, the courage to go ahead and do the unconventional thing, also known as the courage to be different. The fourth one, the courage to be a hero. And the fifth one, the courage to stare death into its eyes and happily die in the face of our creator, God, also known as self-transcending courage. And many more. You see, courage is present in everything you do throughout your life. From little things as deciding what food to eat today, to big things as saving a whole damn country. Since you may not understand courage, let's go over a few questions until you understand them. Section 2 is courage only for the gifted ones. You may have this limiting belief inside you that actually courage is only for the genetically gifted ones. Well, that is a cope. Courage isn't a gift and courage certainly isn't something that is genetically inherited. Courage is a skill and you know how skills work. For example, in a video game, how many times did you have to go through so many trials and errors until you master the skill? How many hours did you have to spend in, in the training ground until you were able to fire a fireball or some cool skill that you wanted to unlock? How many stamina, coins, points, everything that you needed to invest? How many of those things that you invest in this skill until you eventually finally learned it? 
and now it basically has become your basic attack. Well, courage is the same thing. In the beginning it will be hard, it will be super hard as you train it. But as you get slowly but surely better and better at it, you will eventually feel it as a second nature to your own self. Section 3. Why is courage even useful? A good question. You see, like ice and fire counter each other, night and day counter each other as well. And courage and fear in some way counter each other as well. You will either be brave and courageous to do the right thing, to step up for yourself and do the right thing that everyone expects from you, or you will be this crazy little coward who sits like a little spider inside his corner in safety, just waiting for somebody else to do the right thing. It's your choice. And now you may get this idea of, okay, so if I'm courageous, I will never experience fear ever again. Well, quite on the contrary, those who were most courageous were also the most scared ones as well. But they pushed through this fear because once fear, love, anger, and so many other emotions get mixed up together, your body and mind knows that there is nothing to be waiting for. It's time to do the right thing. Both your body and mind are prepared and you're ready to be courageous. This is what you call courage, those goosebumps that you get out of a sudden whenever you see something unholy happening before you, something that isn't supposed to happen before you, something that you want to stop, those goosebumps that you get, that is courage. You feel scared, you feel angry, but you also feel the need to save this person out of pure love. That is why between a whole country of discouraged Greeks, Leonidas and his 300 men decided to go ahead and fight. Keep in mind that these guys, these men actually had at least one son and a wife waiting for them back home and they could have easily left Greece and saved themselves, but they didn't. They stayed there and fought out of pure love for the Greeks. They went there knowing the danger and they happily died in order to save this country. That is why courage is useful. 3.1. When is the right time to be courageous? The right time is now. You see, you don't wait for anything to be accomplished in your life first. If you are scared to do a specific, maybe financial move inside your life, maybe you want to start a new business career that you for a fact know will save you and your family from years of suffering. But you're consistently delaying it by saying, I will do it once I finish my current career. You are just coping. You will never do this because, because in the way of the superior man, the first chapter explains why you should never wait for accomplishment of anything inside your life. If you have a purpose, if you have something here that you want to do, do it now. The best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago, but the second best time is now. So whatever is on your mind, even if you have a current career, do your business, bro. Start your business because only if you start it, you will be able to quit this job. If you never start this business, if you never even consider starting the plans for this business, how will you ever quit your job to actually work on your business? How? And to make sure you never fall in this fall under this procrastination trap ever again, Always ask yourself this question. If not now, then when? If you don't do it now, then when will you do it? If you don't make that move right now, then when will you do it? If you don't approach this girl right now, then when will you do it? Once she has a boyfriend? Once she is already married? Use your chance while you still can and keep this comparison in mind. The best time to plant the tree was 20 years ago. But the second best time is now. 3.2. Imagine yourself sitting inside a computer chair. You have studied this concept for years. You have read books, studied behaviors, and even did in real life tests for this subject. Basically, there isn't a single living person upon this planet that knows more about this than yourself. And you know that the best time to start this is now. You go ahead and you're just, just, just about to publish it, but out of a sudden you get these thoughts. What if I get hate, bro? What if something goes wrong? Man, does it have to be me? And out of a sudden, you just end up delaying it for another week. But out of a sudden, you get a phone call from your friend and he sends you a link. On the other, on the other end, he is super excited telling you, Oh, bro, 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 go ahead and check this thing out. You open it up and you just start nervously scrolling. It's the same idea. It's your idea published by somebody else. 
You go ahead and panic upload your thing as well. But now, a week later, you only got two clients, while this competitor has 1000% more of what you have. You end up falling into a deep, deep, deep depression, wanting to commit a suicide. If you don't want this story to become a reality for yourself, then yes, it has to be you. You have to be the person to upload that. You have to be the person to actually make the right move. If it's not you, then who? Somebody else will do it, but it won't be the same. Because you may have this thing inside your head telling you, but I don't care if it's me, bro. I just care that somebody else gets help from this. Fair enough, bro. Very much deep respect from me for yourself saying this, but think about it. Even if he uploads this, even if this person uploads the same idea as you, it won't be the same. There will be something that he misses out and it will bug you for years. Man, please just fix this, bro. You will literally scream to him just saying this. And he may say, okay, okay, I will fix it, but he never does. And in the end, he ends up procrastinating on it. At the end, he may end up using it for his own benefit. And now you just see this business, this beautiful business that you have studied for years fall apart because of selfish behaviors. But imagine if that person was you. You would do the best of your abilities to help somebody out. And you know for a fact that it would be perfect. So in the end, even if somebody else takes your idea and you're actually fine with it, it won't be the same. So do your clients a favor, do yourself a favor and actually go ahead and publish this yourself. Because whatever you do, even if Barack Obama publishes your idea, it won't be the same as it would have been that you have published it. So publish it now, do the thing now, and it has to be you. Section four, isn't courage reckless though? Courage never was without danger. There certainly were people who even died because of it, like Leonidas and his 300 men, they died, but for a greater cause. And I will admit that there were a few cases where people actually died for a selfish reason. Like if your reason to be courageous is to jump in front of a bullet to save a friend, I will happily just get up and bow down in front of you out of respect. But if your reason to be courageous is to simply impress a girl by fighting a snake, which wouldn't even attack you in the first place, well then bro, in the first place, I would be I will feel very sorry for you in the first day. But you can bear bro, just one day later, I will be here saying, you know, this guy, bro. This guy was kind of stupid. So yes, courage is reckless. Courage can be reckless and courage can be dangerous. But since you are watching a video like this one, bro, I believe that you have some brain cells. I believe that you actually have a brain that is capable of thinking. And I believe that you can defer whether a reason is worthy to fight for or actually a reason is just selfish and not even worth your time. So if the reason is worthy go ahead and do it there certainly are risks to be the only one that raises a hand against somebody when everybody in class is just sit sitting silent there will be a problem whenever you try to separate few people from a fight there will be a problem whenever they ask you your opinion and you end up saying something completely unconventional there will be problems and in some cases there may even be death as well but if the reason is right do it if it's not you know what to do. Section five, can I draw upon courage? The answer is yes. You see, we are the sons of our ancestors. You and me, you and me have Alexander the Great as our granddad. You and I have Leonidas within our blood. You have Spartan blood within you, but you also have the blood from all the cowards in the world as well. So what this basically means, it is up to you, my friend. It is up to you whether you will decide to follow examples like Alexander, like Leonidas, or like Hercules, or whether you will decide to follow examples like Deep Shit Johnny and other people like him. One is good, one is bad, one is courage, one is fear. Leonidas or Johnny? The choice is yours, my friend. Section 5.1. How do you actually draw the courage? You simply remember the cause that they were fighting for. And I specifically say the cause because, for example, if you just remember that they looked pretty cool with the spears and everything, like Alexander the Great or Leonidas and his three conscious partners look pretty cool with the sword and the spear inside their hands, just going ahead and ruthlessly fighting, you may get a few bursts of energy here and there, but they won't serve you anything. 
But for example, if you're riding back home and you're on a bike, but you have to get back home so damn quickly because there is somebody waiting for you on a call. It's a client of yours and you simply have to help this client out. You will suddenly get this burst of energy just serving you to get back home even quicker. But if it's still not enough, you can actually draw upon the courage from our ancestors. Just remember the cause that they were fighting for. Remember Leonidas and his three conscious partners just fighting ruthlessly until death to save Greece. Remember Alexander fighting ruthlessly to save the nations. Remember somebody very cool inside your head just fighting ruthlessly to save something that they thought was meaningful saving. Remember that and suddenly your legs won't hurt anymore. In fact, you won't even feel your legs and suddenly you will see yourself just flying across the, the street like a bullet until you reach home. And that is how you actually draw upon the courage. With our ancestors having shown their examples, we have nothing to use as excuse. Courage is here. It's just waiting for you to draw up on it. So use it for the right thing and use it for whatever means a lot to you. Section six, how can I use courage in my daily life? A very good question. You can basically do a few kinds of exercises throughout your day that will help you level up the skill of courage. For example, you don't hug your mom so often. Well, from now on, since you don't hug her so often, you will hug her every single day. You may have not experienced cold throughout your life entirely. Well, from now on, you will experience 10 seconds of cold shower every single day. Maybe you are even afraid of publishing your work. Well, from now on, bro, you will publish at least one single piece of work online every single day. But as we know, the hard things, as we do them more and more, eventually become easy as well. We get used to them. So once they do, you will need to level them up or actually change them for something else. Instead of just hugging your mom, now you will hug her, but also give her a compliment every single day. Instead of just taking 10 seconds a day of cold shower, now you will expose yourself to cold for 30 seconds. Instead of just publishing one piece of work a day, now you will publish one piece of work a day, but more bigger and actually more valuable piece of work every single day. And you get my point, you basically level up the challenges as you go by. Make sure you don't overestimate yourself and make sure you don't underestimate yourself. You want to be in the flow state where you're just scared enough, but you're not too scared that you won't even consider doing. And after enough implementation of these practices every single day, after enough practice, you will actually feel your courage skill leveling up. Instead of having level zero courage, now you will have perhaps a level seven. And once the time comes, you will not be afraid to act like Leonidas did at Thermopyal Gates. Now, why am I telling you all of this? You see, I know how it is to be bullied every single day and not being able to stand up for yourself. I know how it is to cry after every single sense of fear inside your room. I know these things very well. And back then, I didn't know my answer. I didn't know the answer, in fact. In fact, I never even wanted to have kids back then because for a fact, I knew that I wouldn't be able to protect them. I wouldn't be able to even raise them well. But now all that has changed. I joined the karate club. I started lifting weights. I actually grew my muscles. I started seeing my mind more openly than before. I know what's right and what's wrong. And now I'm not afraid anymore to be the only one who votes red while everyone else in the room votes blue, because deep down, I know I am right. And if I am not right, and if I am not right, I am willing to learn from it and grow from it even more. Then I read a whole book about courage and met concepts that never even appeared in my, inside my mind before. And to be honest with you, I wish I had this knowledge five to seven years ago. You can for a fact bet that my life would have been different had I known this back in those days. But there is no point in looking back and feeling sorry for yourself anymore. The point I'm trying to make right now is that the things that you learn from this video certainly would help out younger Kiko. Certainly would make his life a lot easier and it would certainly help him out in so many various ways. And now, after learning this concept, what matters to me right now is that I ensure a bright future for my wife and my kids. I want to make sure that they never suffer the consequences of life that I have done during my life. I want them 
to live a happy and fulfilling life. That is why I am recording this video. One reason is to help you out and the second one being to help my family out. And I truly believe that this video would help you out because it certainly would help out younger Kiko. Please take action on every single actionable step that you got out of this video and make sure to use it because this video is one of the kind that will change your life literally forever.